Hi everyone, this is M.A. Today. I'm going to show you how to crochet this very easy beach cover-up, beach robe, whatever you want to call it. Let's get started. I post videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. Please subscribe. And click the notification bell. You can slow down the videos by clicking the gear icon below the video. To make this beach wrap, I worked with worsted weight yarn and a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. I'm going to start with a slip knot, and you're going to work a long rectangle like a scarf, and you're going to make two. So you're going to start with a foundation chain that is as long as you would like it to be from the front hem all the way over your shoulder, down the back, to the back hem. So for me, I made a chain that was 6 feet long, which is 72 inches. And so I started with a foundation chain. So you're just going to make a chain the length that you would like to have your beach wrap or your beach robe to be. And when you get your foundation chain the correct length, you're going to double crochet in the fifth stitch from the hook. One, two, three, four, five. And that's going to take the place of a double crochet and a chain one space. Chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next. And you're going to do that all the way across the row. Chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip, double crochet. Like that. And that's the first row. Now you'll work all these next rows exactly the same. So you'll chain three, one, two, three, and turn. And that takes the place of a double crochet and a chain one. And then you'll double crochet in the next double crochet. Like that, working in the double crochet. Chain one, double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain one, double crochet. And at the end of the row, chain one. That took the place of the double crochet in the chain one. So skip that stitch, double crochet in the next stitch. So at the end of every row, you're always going to be working your last double crochet in the second chain there. So the next row would be again the same. Chain three, one, two, three. Turn the work. Double crochet in this stitch. chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Now we're back at the end of the row again. Chain one, skip that stitch, double crochet in that second stitch, which is the turning chain from the previous row. And that's how this works up, like that. So you're just going to keep working that row over and over until you have this long rectangle 
that reaches from your underarm to the center of your chest. And then this very last row is all double crochet. So to do the final row, chain two, one, two, and turn. And that counts as the first double crochet. And now I'm going to double crochet in every chain one space and in every double crochet. So double crochet in the chain one space and double crochet in the double crochet. And you're going to repeat that all the way across the row. Double crochet in the chain one space, double crochet in the double crochet. And you're going to continue across the row. And I'm going to make my last double crochet here in this space. That counted as a chain one space. And now my last double crochet in the very next stitch. Like that. And there's what the last row will look like. And that's how you'll work this mesh. And when you have both rectangles made, you're going to join them down the center back. And I joined them with a slip stitch. And you're going to do that down the center back, but don't go all the way up to the halfway mark. Leave a section here so that you have a V neck in the back. To make the tie at the waist, work with two or three strands of washed white yarn and chain a cord that will wrap around your waist plus an extra three feet. And then I attach tassels on each end and I'll put a link below on how to make tassels. And there you go, that's how easy it is to crochet this summer beach cover-up. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.